UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Aldo is seven years his senior. He will have a one-inch reach advantage. Now to get a start of the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Hong Kong. Presenting the challenger, Lee. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 29 wins, seven losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Jose! UFC belt on the mic, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want that love, do it now, go back to your corner. The fighters touch him up. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Aldo gets caught with that punch. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Strike attempt there is blocked. Punches. 
Starting to see some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Whoa! Use her. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Checks the leg kick. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. And everything's landing with so much power. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Jose Alba. Circling to his right. Oh, nice combination of kicks once again. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check him, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kicks, he'll just pop a jab up, get the hands up to block the face, Blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. Lee going for the leg kick. He misses. Come on, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is, you can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. That's not gonna happen this time. Let this guy know who you are. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next Ready? round. High Ready? number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with this kick. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, strong punch there by Aldo. Oh, nice. Big hook. Oh, straight right. <laughs> Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Just misses with the jab. Oh, nice, nice right here. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing. Oh, strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. You'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Oh, man, that cut is getting worse. Absolutely nasty. Back to the feet now. Spinning back is there. He's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, good kicks. And he landed the right hand there. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Ooh, what a punch. Big head kick. 
camp by this young man. Nice body to run on the open. So a combination of kicks from him, and most of those found the target, DC. The kickboxing is on point tonight. He's so sharp, and he feels so good that he's throwing multiple kicks in a row. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at the angle of that nice body. Just misses with that one. Standing still in their fight. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see these high level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Effective punch there by Al. He's, he's lifting now. Here's the kick blocked by Aldo. Just missed on the front kick there. Whip his hip into that kick. Just a slip there. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Real quick leg kick. Aldo gets caught with that. Be afraid to get that head off the center line. Distance gets the single collar tie. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Aldo gets crushed with that hook. Pretty good right hand. Big kick lands. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, the cut on that cheek is only getting worse. His face is a mess. Time the shot pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up. Man, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Swing and a miss by Aldo. Big leg kick land. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Seconds winding down in round three. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, so a big knockdown in that last round. DC will show you the replay. Nearly had him out of there. He almost had him out. He had him gone. He hurt him real bad. He thought the fight was over, but the night will go on. The dance continues. Will this be the final dance? Well, he 
continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Out of range with that kick attempt. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound start. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here, and if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. got to defend, but you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes. He's going to start to elevate because he knows that he can get the pin. And he is back up to his feet. Trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo. Oh! Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. He got a bad! Oh, that right hand is on point. Huge shots raining down. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, it looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jiu-jitsu guys. He's attacking armbar now. He might get a finish here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Right, I mean, how do you not admire the focus of this young fighter? You can tell he was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. He stayed patient, let the setup do its thing, and ultimately the submission materializes organically late in the round. High-level stuff out of that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there he is, the baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion of the world, a title that every heavyweight wants. He has it after the win by submission here tonight. He leaned on the grappling, and he got the job done in a big way. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 23 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by submission due to an armbar. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Jose Aldo Jr. And still the baddest man on the planet. And now with another highlight for the 